Do you notice the world falling apart? Are you tired of the lies and deception? If so, then welcome to my channel where we expose the lies and uncover the truth, helping you get ready for what's coming in the world and helping you get prepared now. Welcome to All Day Everyday Preparedness. Now, what if I told you that a mandatory pet microchip was in effect in the city of Houston, Texas, and that this outrageous mandate went into effect just a few short weeks ago? Now, all of city Houston pet owners must have their dog or cat microchipped or face a hefty fine if they don't comply. Guys, don't be fooled. This is foreshadowing for us as people, for us as human beings. First, they're going to do it with the pets, and then they're going to try it on us humans. This world is changing so fast, and this one world system is getting closer and closer to becoming a reality. Now, here's a clip about the mandatory pet microchip from the city of Houston. Today, all pet owners living in the city of Houston are required to have their pets microchipped. I talked to Bark's deputy shelter director about the ordinance and the upcoming free events that they're hosting. Pet owners living in Houston have been required to register their pets with the city and have proved that their animals are vaccinated against rabies. Now that registration also requires proof that your pet is microchipped. Bark's deputy director says it's vital in getting lost pets back home. If they're microchipped, we can reunite them directly with you. They never have to come to the shelter. They never have to take up a kennel space that frees up space here at the shelter for us to take in strays that aren't owned, that are just roaming the streets. So if a pet is owned and it is microchipped, it could be reunited with this owner without ever having to come here at the shelter. Bark has held drive through events before offering free microchipping and held another one yesterday to encourage Houstonians to come into compliance as this ordinance takes a fact microchipping is fast and easy it's small it's the size of a like a little grain of rice we hit the shelter we insert it right between the shoulder blades it's a quick pinch pet owners who don't comply can face a fine up to five hundred dollars and while bark offers low-cost microchipping year-round at fifteen dollars an animal you can get your pet chipped for free next week just as important as getting your pets microchipped is keeping that contact information up to date that includes your phone number and address so if your pet gets lost, Bart can find you and get your family home safe. Get your pet home safe. What, which is your hey, family? That is your family. There you get go. So as you can see, this is a big freedom and sovereignty issue, not just for the people that live in Houston, but for all Americans. Now, in the clip, they were offering free microchips, and that sounds pretty familiar to something else, doesn't it? It's a new push by the big name grocery chain Kroger to get more doses in arms of those still not vaccinated. So far, Kroger in Virginia has administered almost 100,000 vaccinations. Their incentive is through a $5 million community immunity giveaway program where those who get vaccinated at a Virginia Kroger by July 10th will be eligible to win a million dollars or a year of free groceries. Remember how that all went down? First, they tried to bribe us. With things like lottery tickets, free college tuition, free donuts, heck, even free passes to the strip club. So when those tactics failed, they tried to make it mandatory. They tried to come after your job. They tried to come after your livelihood. So we have to recognize what's happening in the world around us. So if you have a pet and you live in the city of Houston, guys, you need to stand up for your rights. I'm talking about right now. Now, I know this is being passed under the guise of uh, preventing abandoned or runaway animals, which is a major problem in most cities across the country. So I totally understand the premise. But being mandatory, in my opinion, guys, that's totally crossing the line. So if the people of Houston or the next city that tries to be tyrannical and put these laws and edicts and decrees into motion without the people's consent if they don't step up to the plate guys we're next humans are next you see these governments whether they're local state or federal they're constantly trying to push the limits and see just how much freedom and sovereignty that they can take away and see if there's little or no resistance you're just showing them that they can basically do the same thing to you so first it's with the pets but humans are next so i mean what's going to happen guys when they come out with this human mandatory microchip Are people going to just lay down and get on their knees and roll over and go down to the local chipping center so that way their every move can be tracked traced and recorded by the government or big brother now i love in the clip that you saw they said that they could return the pet to its owner and trust me guys if this goes into humans it will be the exact same way you will be returned if you try to leave your city and forget about trying to flee out of the country either this new system that's coming is going to be worldwide they're going to have the ability to track you worldwide. 
And oh yeah, these 15 minute cities that you've been hearing about, that's all part of the plan as well. So once this technology makes its way into the general public, guys, and the general public bows down and accepts this, it's over. The government and the powers that be, they're going to know your every move. And if you try to resist, just like with your pets in the city of Houston, they're going to fine you. Or better yet, they may take your money away. You see, these CBDCs, or the central bank digital currencies, guys, is almost here as well. Once that goes live, and that's the new standard to buy and to sell, is with the CBDC, they can shut your money off with a simple click. It's going to be all about total control and empowerment over you. They're going to limit where you can work, when you can work, where you can travel, where you can go. All with this CBDC and digital trackers like implants or microchips. So if you're not preparing for this coming one world system, in my opinion, you're not preparing at all. Because these things will be here in just a few short years, possibly even sooner. So if you can see that and you can recognize that it's coming, then what are you doing to prepare for it? Because if you don't want to take a microchip, guys, if you don't want to be tracked, traced, monitored, and recorded every little thing that you do, if you don't want to give the government total control over your life, then what are you doing right now to prepare for it? Because that system will be in place, guys. It's going to be a worldwide system. And we have to live set apart from that system. So I know it's not easy, but we need to start preparing and taking steps to, to live outside of that system right now while we still have the ability to do so. Because without their chips, guys, without taking their mandates, you're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to buy. You're not going to be able to sell. You're not going to be able to travel. You're going to be refused government services that normally or otherwise would be available to you right now. You're going to have to forego all those things if you do not take their system. So how are you prepping and preparing for those things right now? Now, to learn more about how you can do that, please check out these videos right here. Now, if you're not a subscriber of this channel, it may not pop up for you, but I will leave them in the description. But make sure that you share this video with your family, with your friends, and your loved ones, guys, to let them know what's happening and what's coming on this earth very, very soon. Also, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Continue to prepare. And as always, be blessed.